Good morning, everyone. It is December 3rd, Saturday morning, 2016. And uh, as you can see, it's a, still a little dark out. It's just a couple minutes until 8 o'clock in the morning. Uh, it's cloudy. We've had almost no sun the last week and a half. And it's 35 degrees outside. But there's no snow on the ground, and the snow isn't frozen solid, so we're going to get out and do some metal detecting. Stay with us, and let's see if we find anything worth anything. If we do, I'll show you. Wish me luck. Hey, sometimes that uh, getting out on these cold days like this pays off. I uh, might have my first interesting find of the day. Let's take a look. There we go. It's coming in at the 90s. It looks like it might be a piece of silver. Let's uh, let's find out. Hey, focus on this. I uh. Stainless, stainless steel. I think this might be part of a watchback or something. I'll get it cleaned up in a second and uh, show you a little bit better. Here it is. The back of a watch. I don't think it's anything special. Let's move on. Got my second interesting item of the day. This is uh, next to my finger, so it's not as big as it looks like in the pictures. Uh, it's just a little child's ring. Thought it was kind of cool, though. And we've got some uh, little ice pellets trying to fall here. Yeah, you see, I saw one just come across the screen there. See them bouncing around. Lovely. So here's an interesting find. I, uh, I'm not sure exactly what it is. Looks pretty modern though. Wasn't that far down, about four inches maybe. Hmm, it's a doodad. If you guys ever want an example of why I like the AT Pro, let me show you something real quick here. Check this out. I have a quarter and a um, little girl's hair uh, clip there. And the hair clip was about an inch and a half, two inches down. The quarter was about six inches down. And I was able to get that quarter signal. It was, it was sketchy, but I was able to pick out that quarter signal even though that hair clip was on top of it. Um, I, I was surprised at the quarter. I pull, pulled the plug back over. I scanned it again. I found that uh, hair clip, and that explained why it was so sketchy. But that's, that's pretty cool. That's why I like the AT Pro. Even with a stock coil, it can pull out stuff like that. Let's find out. Uh, let's see what else we can find. Um, yeah, I don't know if you can see the building behind me here. That wall is a school, and I'm real close to it. And I just found a 22 used um, expense cartridge, probably this deep, you know, knuckle deep in the ground. Huh, never something you want to find here around a school. Thought I'd found myself another penny here by based on the signal, but that's not a penny. Let's see what the heck this is. What does that say? It's an amusement park token. It's a... Uh, Probably like one of these uh, places where you can go and uh, they have the video games inside. Tilt Family Amusement Center. Huh, interesting. I'm going to show you an example of why when you get something out of the ground, if it's bent, you just leave it that way. I got this spoon out of the ground. And right there... It was bent, and I tried to straighten it, and it's barely hanging together right now. I put that in my pouch, it's probably going to break on me. 
this is a really lightweight spoon I don't think it's anything fancy but but uh, if it were I just ruined it so something for you guys to be aware of it's a rookie mistake I got stupid hey you guys remember those uh, cap guns that you had the coil of caps is like red paper with little dots on it where most of us if you're like me you didn't actually use the cap pistol so much as you just took a rock out and hit them here's I think this is part of the cap pistol this is where those uh, little coil of caps would have gone in and it would have fed out through this little end right here it's smaller than it um, normally would be because I think this part right here should stick up further I think it got bent down but I'm pretty sure that's what that is that's that brings back some memories I'll tell you what haven't seen one of those little cap guns in a while cool fine good morning as you can tell us the next day after the dig um, I had a pretty good day I was out for about three hours it was about 35 36 degrees uh, so I was comfortable I bundled up nicely apparently um, got a few good things nothing extraordinarily special or anything like that so let me show you what I got here real quick these are my finds for the last for yesterday for about three hours that I went out I got some clad one got hit by a lawnmower uh, 1964 penny 1964 nickel and if this quarter would have been a 1964 it would have been silver instead this is the up yours screw you whatever of the coin world this is the 1965 which I am an expert at digging because I find enough of those so that's my clad let's get that out of the way nothing special there I also dug a ton of zinc pennies at the end of the year I've got a jar I'm putting these all in I'll show you how many of these I found these are so corroded they can't go through a coin counter or anything I mean like this one is just ate up so I think I only have probably two or three dollars worth of these things three four something like that so I'm just gonna throw them in the recycle bin but I'm gonna show you the big pile in my end of the year wrap up so you can see what I've found back of a watch uh, it has the markings inside and out to show that it is a watch probably from a ladies watch because it's pretty small I think this was this probably had hinge there was something attached here and I think there was probably some sort of key there like a I don't think it's too heavy to be a typewriter um, some sort of thing it had a key or something that, that you twisted worthless this is that spoon I found that I broke I was at a school though and this isn't particularly a great example of a spoon so I think this is probably just a school spoon um, token kids ring with a watch face on it that was pretty cool a little button a 22 a, a spent 22 shell right next to the school I don't think that's ever a good thing an old button uh, it's a two-piece button as the back is uh, rusted out on it so it looks like a composite there's two different metals there um, this is cool golden circle validated parking we haven't used uh, everything now is, uh, is stamps or uh, paper these I don't think in the area here have been used since 1970s early to mid 1970s uh this is all just junk pin hair clip that was on top of one of the quarters key uh, this is interesting when i first found it i thought this was a hem weight and i've seen some metal detecting forms out there identify them as hem weights but i'm pretty sure this is not a hem weight actually um i believe this is a drape weight a drapery for curtains um, the square the the ones that were used for clothing were usually round this is bigger and heavier I think this is for drapery um, and there are some forms out there that seem to back that up the you know your your forms that uh, like treasure detector net or something like that I think those are the ones that I that will properly identify this anyway um, it's about to snow here uh, later today so I, I really got to get out there and do some digging uh, before the snow flies um, 
And so we're only supposed to be a mushy snow, but that means it's going to be muddy and wet, and it's already bad enough out there. So um, the sun is just now coming up so that I could get out and do a little bit of detecting and see what I'm doing. So you guys have fun. Get out and do some digging. I'm going out. Maybe I'll see you there. See ya. Peace.